Okay, this is a video about points of inflection. So if we're given a formula for a function f of x, how do we find its points of inflection? Now let's remember for a second, what is a point of inflection? So a point of inflection, a point of inflection is where f changes changes concavity changes I'll abbreviate this concavity now what tells us about concavity um, it's the sign of the second derivative so if we want the sign of the second derivative to change if we want it to change from positive to negative or vice versa then we need the second derivative f double prime of x to be zero so that's step one is that we will find the second derivative set it equal to zero and solve that equation so to find the second derivative first you find the first derivative f prime and what is this we can differentiate this using the power rule so we get 6x squared minus 24x minus 70 and to get f double prime we simply differentiate again so we do the same thing to f prime and what do we get we get 12x minus 24 so what did we want to do we want to set this equal to 0 and solve so if this equals 0 we just solve this equation Hopefully, this is relatively familiar. We move 24 to the other side by adding 24 to both sides, and then we divide both sides by 12, and we get x equals 2. So it turns out that this is the only point of inflection of this function f. But there's something really important going on here. We, we need f to change concavity for this to be classified as a point of inflection. So how do we know that f changes concavity here? Well, if we look to the left of this point, if we look to the left of x equals 2 in the second derivative, we will get something negative. For example, if we plug in x equals 0 into the second derivative, uh, we will get negative 24. So to the left, this is negative, And to the right, if we just plug in bigger and bigger numbers, like, say, 1,000 for x, then we'll definitely get something positive. So what we have is that we could make maybe even make a little sign chart for f double prime. We notice that at x equals 2, it's 0. And to the left, it's negative, And to the right, it's positive. And this is essential for something to be a, a point of inflection. It has to change, in this case, from concave down to concave up. Uh, here's an example of where this can go wrong. For example, if f of x equals, say, x to the fourth. If f of x equals x to the fourth, if we differentiate twice, we get that f double prime of x is 12x squared. And so this equals 0, where x equals 2. Or, I'm sorry, where x equals 0. And so, but this is not a, a point of inflection. The second derivative equals 0, but if we look on both sides of, uh, of x equals 0, we'll get positive numbers on both sides. So this is um, everywhere concave up, and so this is not a point of inflection. And so you have to make sure that the sign of the second derivative changes when you're calculating a point of inflection.